Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're gonna try Lily Fantasy by Juliette Hazegan. So, nothing much to show, just a little sample. It says Lily Fantasy on one side, and it says Juliette has a gun for the parfum, something like that. On the other side, comes from that little box, and I already showed the whole thing with the Not a Perfume video. There's a little book kind of thing inside of it, so I'm going to read the text for Lily Fantasy. Lily Fantasy is an extravagant cocktail of white flowers and ambergris note with a slight gourmet twist. Get ready to immerse yourself into an irreverent world of voluptuosity, audacity. So, let's try to smell. So, when I smell it, the best way I can describe the smell is a mix between Olympia and Invictus. Especially that base notes is kind of what define those two fragrances. Smelling a little bit of ambroxan, a little bit of amber, gives bubble gum kind of note. Picking up some tuberose, picking up a little bit of jasmine also, and that's pretty much all the notes in the fragrance. On my skin, in the top note, I'm picking up a lot of ambroxan, a lot of tuberose, and a good amount of jasmine, which gives by itself a good amount of bubble gum note, but it's obviously a mix of ambroxan, tuberose, and jasmine that give that bubble gum note. It's more of an accord that's present in the top notes. The heart notes, still a lot of tuberos, a lot of ambroxan, good amount of jasmine, but at that point I'm picking up a good amount of amber. And in the base notes, I'm picking up a good amount of ambroxan, um, still a good amount, but a little bit less amber. Fragrance itself remind me a lot of Olympia, but it reminds me a lot also of uh, One Million Parfum by Paco Rabanne. And it reminds me so much of different fragrance by Paco Rabanne that for me it's really heavily inspired by Paco Rabanne. Now it says that it's a woman's fragrance on Fragrantica, but I mean it smells like a lot of men's fragrance, so I think it would be easily easy for a guy to pull it out. Production is average, the little bubble around me, people were able to pick it up, and longevity was pretty good, 7 to 12 hours. And for the complete note breakdown, top notes are bubble gum, heart notes are tuberose and jasmine, and the base notes are ambroxan and ember. Now, where would see this fragrance? It would be a good business fragrance. It's really sweet, playful, doesn't have anything serious into it. So I don't think it would be so good for that kind of fragrance. As a dating fragrance, though, it will be a really great thing. It fits perfectly in that circle. It reminds me a lot of different fragrances that fit in that category. If you're the kind of person that like that type of fragrance, you'll really like it. You'll really enjoy this one. In the summer winter spectrum, I would say it's more in between, maybe a bit more toward winter than summer, but more into transitional season. Projection is good, but I don't know how crazy it will cut through cold of winter. And in summer, it's a bit too synthetic and sweet. And the projection is already good, so it will be a bit intense in summer. And as an everyday scent, it's not quite in that category. If you're a younger guy or a younger woman, also, you would be able to wear it because younger people usually have sweeter fragrance. Uh, it's more well seen. But if you're a bit older, even late twenties, it will be a bit, a bit too much as an everyday scent. That kind of smell. Everything else would be good. Liza Holday, it's kind of, still kind of nice to smell. You would be able to pull it off if you're someone that really loves sweet scents, then you'll be able to pull it off. It's just, personally, I don't think it's that kind of fragrance, but yeah, you'd be able to pull it off if you want. So, this fragrance made me think that it's really not the kind of fragrance that uh, what they're looking for. They said that they want to, the brand, the goal is to make fragrance like the, the art of fragrance again. And that's that's really just some mass appealing fragrance. Like tons of other mass appealing fragrance. I don't think it's really into the art of fragrance. Though it's really nice. It smells good. And it's nice and unisex. If you like clubbing fragrance. It's a good one, it doesn't project like crazy like other clubbing fragrance, but it smells good. Even I would say maybe better than a lot of clubbing fragrance, more in opinion than anything else. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, well, like and share. 
And if you're a big fan of clubbing fragrance, tell me what is your favorite one. So thanks for watching and see you soon. Thank you.